Kia ora tātou, kōna rira hupa toko ingoa, nō te whānau reia hau, uh, e tipuaki i te Featherston. So I was born here, grew up here, went to school here um, with my family, um, three brothers and two sisters, mum and dad. Uh, always loved the Wairarapa. We've lived overseas as well and had our family overseas, but always knew we were going to come back to the Wairarapa to live. Always wanted to bring them back here to bring them up because we had such a fantastic childhood. I think that's what it was. So Wairarapa Moana, uh, spent a lot of time down there. Um, my dad was definitely a harvester and forager and we ate watercress a lot. <laughs> and um, he used to make his own hinaki and collect tonna. Um, a lot of time down at Lake Ferry in those days and camping, camping for weeks on end actually. I don't know how he did it, six kids. And um, you yeah, ate a lot of fish, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Kia ora. Kia ora, uh, ko Rikihima Toku Ingoa. I um, originate from Purirua. I was born in Wellington, I grew up in Purirua. So I did all my schooling and growing up in Purirua. Um, like the rest of the Rōpū, I have always had a strong affinity for the environment, and in particular the moana. So we were fortunate enough to grow up with a boat where we would go out fishing as a whānau, and um, we did a lot of travelling around New Zealand, and we are fortunate enough to spend time out on the water fishing and getting connected with the moana. My wife and I first moved here in 2014. We were blessed with our son uh, and the adoption of our son, Keegan. He's now seven years old. And the reason we moved here is because back in May 2009, when my mum passed, I remember standing out on uh, Lake Ōnuke and looking out into the horizon as I was standing there fishing and feeling really strongly connected to this area. And I think at that point in time, um, that affinity grew then. So moving here was just a natural thing for us. We spent a lot of time up here as a whānau fishing um, and when we had Keegan we decided we wanted to bring him out here so that he could get that connection with nature and with the environment. And through joining the Storpu um, and just seeing the passion for the moana and the restoration of the biodiversity, um, ecology and, and the moana itself and the health is really important. Um, it's a passion for me, but it's also a passion, I think, for my son. He loves the moana too, so yeah. So that's why I'm here. Kia ora. Uh, kia ora. Uh, my name's Warren Maxwell. Uh, I, I actually grew up in Whangarei. I'm not originally from the Waitarapa. I grew up in Whangarei. My dad on my Pākehā side is from Hokianga. Uh, so got a strong Scottish Viking roots there, <laughs> and the mum is Tuhoi. So no rua tāhuna, uh, or mai te reu, te hapu. Uh, but also we whakapapa over to um, kahununu ki, ki nuhaka. So um, ko rākai pāka te hapu, kai reira. Uh, ko tānei nui arangi te, te marae, kai reira. Um, and we moved to Featherston oh, 14 years ago, 14, I've got to think how old my daughter, <laughs> yeah, um, and just love, fell in love with the place, absolutely fell in love with it, you know, our kids, our second um, child was born here, Leeway was born, you know, at home. In Whangarei, my memories of as a child were very happy, like going out fishing, gathering kai, you know, camping, doing all those, swimming in the rivers, doing all those things that, um, you know, kids should be able to do. And my concern for a long time now is that our kids and our grandchildren, kids and our mukapuna won't have the same experiences that we had. You know, when I moved to Featherston, talking to people who had grown up here, they said, oh, we used to go sailing out there, you know, used to be really active, we used to be water skiing, and, and now it's, the lake is so um, sick, you know, it's, people don't, don't want to do that anymore, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing to be part of Aropu and, uh, and the wider community that um, have realised that the, the lake's very mamai and we want to get it back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.
health here can kill them. Kia ora, I'm Karen Mikaida. My connection here is through um, um, Ngāti Kahununu. Um, our hapu is uh, Rakai Whakiri. And um, I was born, born up on a farm on the banks of the Ruamahanga that backed onto the, the southern part of the lake. So I was brought up with my parents fishing pretty much the same as Narita's where we'd go out, set the nets, we'd live on eels, watercress, flounders. On occasions we'd be going out to the coast to get seafood, Kai Moana. Um, and so I've moved away as an ad a young adult and come home to live. And uh, the concerning thing is the state of our Moana and how degraded it's become in one lifetime. It can go from uh, a place where you can enjoy, go and get kai, to a place where you've got to come home and do something to try and fix it. It is very, very easy to feel discouraged when you are faced with the immensity of what we need to achieve to mm. heal our lake, our moana.